Factsverse presents Experts drilled into the crater that killed the dinosaurs and made an incredible discovery. The Chicxulub Crater marks the point of contact where a massive asteroid hit the Earth. The asteroid was so large that many people believed that was what wiped out every dinosaur on the planet. It's just a theory, but many people do subscribe to it. The crater stretches 93 miles in diameter. It plunges 12 miles into the ground. It's the second largest asteroid ever to make impact on the Earth, and experts believe it hit about 66 million years ago. The crater is really impressive because its peak ring is still intact. Its long-term preservation is very impressive. The only other crater with a peak ring still intact is located on the Moon. Since it's not a convenient place for science to study on the Moon, they're thankful for the Chicxulub Crater on Earth. The crater got its name from the Mexican town nearby that shares the name. Scientists have been studying the crater and they've managed to go beyond the typical details. The crater sits more than a mile beneath Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Based on the measurements taken by scientists, the asteroid that hit the Earth had to be up to 50 miles wide. As mentioned earlier, the diameter of the crater is 93 miles, which is just 1.6 miles shorter than the drive between New York to Philadelphia. While studying the crater, the experts wanted to know the blast potential that the rock hit the Earth. They estimated the asteroid or comet had 21 to 291 billion times as much energy as the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima in World War II. Even the strongest human-made explosive, the Soviet Union's Tsar Bomba, couldn't come close to the power of this asteroid. This crater goes 18.6 miles into the ground. It is a very deep hole. It's the second largest impact on Earth, just behind the crater near Vredefort in South Africa. Unlike the South African crater, though, the Chicxulub has a peak ring intact. And that tells the experts the impact site had no single central peak. Scientists say it is ground zero of the Cretaceous extinction event. Scientists haven't really been rushing out to study the crater. It has been sitting there for 60 million years, after all. Over the years, though, the crater has been filled with water and rock, and today over a half mile of sedentary rock still covers the crater. Even though the crater has been there for 60-some million years, it wasn't discovered until 1978. Two geophysicists, Glenn Penfield and Antonio Camargo, stumbled upon the crater. They weren't even looking for it. They stumbled upon it while searching for petroleum. The two men went up into a plane to compete for a magnetic survey that mapped any potential drilling locations beneath the Gulf of Mexico. They were going through the data collected when Glenn noticed something strange. There was a 40-foot-wide underwater arc with amazing symmetry. When the men saw this, they decided to dig a bit deeper. Literally. That was when Glenn and Antonio discovered the two arcs made a circle. Glenn knew right away they'd found something amazing, and he believed he'd pinpointed a cataclysmic event in the planet's history. Glenn and Antonio got permission from the Petróleos Mexicanos to present their findings at the 1981 Society of Exploration Geophysicists Conference. Oddly, their revelation didn't go over the way they thought it would. Since their find didn't garner too much attention, Glenn decided to give up his research on the crater. He did publish the data that he collected, and other scientists have had similar findings over the years. In 1981, a graduate student from the University of Arizona, Alan R. Hildebrand, was working with his advisor William V. Boynton to publish their own Earth impact theory. They needed a crater to collaborate their hypothesis, and they had plenty of evidence with that crater studied by Glenn. They even learned more than Glenn did. Drilling took place at the crater site because it was believed that there was once an ancient volcano in the area that was destroyed when the asteroid hit. When Glenn and Antonio drilled at the site, they discovered proof of a volcanic eruption. While everyone has their own theories, the most popular theory is that the crater is responsible for killing all of the non-flying dinosaurs on the planet. After more drilling, experts discovered the impact of the crater pushed sediment from miles beneath the surface up to the top. The rocks also gave the experts an idea of what the world looked like post-impact. The rocks made the experts believe that when the asteroid hit the Earth, it created a hole and a tsunami formed. Between the rock hurling in the air and the tsunami causing floods and the heat from the initial impact, everything was destroyed. Subscribe for more.